Happy Existential Wednesday! Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, back again. You've all just submitted your No Bones Challenge. We're very happy to see you guys out in public with no bones. I'm glad that nobody got hurt. Can I say something about those? I would like that. Uh, I don't think we were ready for that jelly. You guys were like jelly beings in those videos. It was awesome to see, and you guys are ballsy, getting out there in public and doing your mind thing. It was awesome to see everybody jumping into the fun like that. Yeah, with such a lack of bones. I mean, we're out of our fucking minds, so it makes sense that we would go out in public and act like idiots, and the fact that you guys are willing to do that <laughs> with us is awesome. Should we take a look at their videos? Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Alright, right, here they are. Hey, Clunes. Hey, Clunes. What up? Hello, Clunes. Hello. Are you fine? Everything yes, okay? Yes, we are. Thank you. Right. And I want to wait till store personnel is not right in the way. You guys are fucking awesome. You look crazy out there, you jelly, jelly wonders of magic. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to introduce you to this week's challenge. As the UC Irvine undergraduate drama honors and acting recipient, you got it, you got it, you got it. I am very proud to let you know this week, uh, yeah. this week the challenge is a cold reading. <laughs> Keep going. Push it, push it I mean, through. You know. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> If you start over, you can't start over. There you go. You got the mic. You got the fuck up mic again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this week's challenge is a cold read from the esteemed book, Hollywood 101 Magnificent Monologues for Teens. Now, the way that this challenge works is us three clowns are going to randomly flip through this book and pick a random monologue. Now, without looking at it, we are going to perform right off the bat cold read for the first time ever this monologue in a dramatic, emotional way. As always, the clues have done it first. Here are our monologues. Okay, here we go. Opening up the monologue. <clears throat> hey you, yeah you, can I ask you a question? We don't know each other, right? I mean, I don't think so. Okay, so since I'm a total stranger to you, maybe you can help me. And I want your honest opinion. What kind of person do I look like to you? I wanna know, I, now be honest, because every time I meet a girl, they always look at me funny, like I'm bizarre or something. Do I come across funny to you, bizarre? I mean, I'm a little far out, I admit that. But I'm not, like, weird or anything. I'm not spooky, okay, I'm not normal, but that's good. Who wants to be normal? Not me. Well, you might. You look pretty normal. No offense. It works for you, but me, I mean, I'm definitely not normal. I'm not bizarre, but I'm not normal. So tell me, how do I come across to you? And pick your words carefully, because I'm sensitive. Don't be trying to hurt my feelings, because then I'd have to hurt you, and you wouldn't want that. So tell me, what kind of guy do you think I am? What kind of guy do you think I am? What kind of guy do you think I am? Hey, mister, why are you running? Well, come back. Man, some people are bizarre. Greg, you know, I've actually seen your work for many years and you're a fine, fine actor. I've had the, the opportunity to be on stage with you. Nick, I have not had the opportunity to be on stage with you. I haven't seen you do monologues, but your work in that was, I think, quite raw, but it felt like there was just enough technique without being technical. 
right? Does that make sense? That's why zero years of acting school uh, really coming through and shining through. It's called being a natural, I mean, is what Hollywood calls it. Yeah. So it felt really good. <laughs> you know what? It looked really good. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. The monologue you'll be doing is not the one that we did. No, you're nope. doing a new monologue. Yep. Folks, we are diving right into one of our absolute favorite segments of the show. It's definitely one of our top five of the show. And here it is, it's the Clone of the Week. <laughs> Clone of the Week is... Elvis Piss, who says, If nothing is impossible, would that mean that the idea of impossibility is possible? What a great comment that is. Honestly, now, we get a lot of great comments. That comment is in particular standing out. Right. Uh, it, it was wonderful, very funny, very silly, very smart, very poignant. Uh, it's got all the things that we want for a great comment. Yeah. So congratulations. Is it plug? Push the plug in, maybe? Test, 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 test. Push the plug in. Okay, what were you saying, Mitch? You know, I was saying something about the Clone of the Week, and goddamn, it was a great comment. Let's move on from the bullshit. You know what, Mitch? It sounds as if someone's almost paying you to say that. <laughs> you know what? No one's paying me to say that, but they are paying us to say this. Thank you so much to our corporate sponsor of the week, Flautas Flutes, coming in straight from Colombia. Uh, this is a mold-injected plastic flute, as cheap as you can get them at any party store. Uh, we happen to... She happened to send us a couple bucks in the mail, and that's why she's on our show, folks. Yep. Check this out. You get a lot of range here. Good. Yep. It sounds you know, like it works. It works. Let's keep that on a minimum. Well, one of the major benefits of this is it comes with an instructional manual for two, which means that you can grab a friend and play a song together. This is how it goes. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> It's, I'm trying to get a t I'm trying to get at least a t <laughs> It's hard when Greg's laughing. I hate for him to hold the mic. Yeah. Here's how here's Nick how and I really get it going. <laughs> and that's it. That's a that's a standard tune. It's the first tune you learn in the instruction it manual. It's Gotta a jazz standard. Stay composed and feel it in your heart. That's where the flute comes from, right down here. And thanks to Flautus Flutes, we're able to enjoy that experience. And Absolutely. so are you. So are you. Thank you, Flautus Flutes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to introduce you to next week, this Faithful Friday sketch. Here it is, a sneak peek. I'm unique. Man, that joke is getting real old. Yeah. The old preview joke? <laughs> Here's one quick frame of the preview. <laughs> hey, it's a preview, and you guys get the joke, and you but like the joke. You guys love it, right? Come on, it's fun. Okay. It's bullshit, and it's fun. At least they pray for view. They do. They don't. No, they, they don't, don't pray for. They don't pray or pay for view. Uh, but they're probably praying for the show to over, be over. And folks, <laughs> your prayers are answered. Your prayers are answered. Your prayers are answered. We're praising you, and we're praising this show. It's a great fucking show, but it has to come to an end. We'll send it in, folks. We all know what challenge it is. It's the uh, Magnificent Monologue Challenge, so get in there, film it, send it in. Uh, the preview's coming out Faithful Friday, you're gonna see a great fucking sketch. Anywho, folks, we gotta wrap it up and wrap it in. We're getting the fuck out of here. We'll see you guys next, next Existential, Existential Wednesday! Wednesday. Yo, wrap it up. All right. Yeah, thanks, All right. everybody. We're getting a little baseline down here. We are getting a baseline down there.